Monroe County want to see more safety precautions at a railroad crossing after a woman there was killed last week. In the Tennessee Highway Patrol report, the state says she failed to stop for the railroad crossbars. We found there aren't any. 10 News reporter Lauren Lovett talked with community members about their concerns. Yes, initial reports stated that the woman failed to stop at the barrier, but as you can see, there are no barriers and also no lights. The road is now closed down for some other repairs, but the community is asking for precautions to be put in place so that drivers are aware that a train is coming. The crash happened at 8 a.m. Friday. 44-year-old driver Bridget Pearson was killed. The crossing off Evans Street and Old Slag Road's only warnings are a railroad crossing and yield sign. Locals say they avoid crossings like these because there are no crossbars or lights, and sometimes trains don't blow their horns. A lot of times it's just, you know, human nature. You're not paying complete attention to the road, especially when you're going slow across the, across the crossings. And it would be nice if there was just, you know, the arms that came down to stop you when you're not paying that close attention. Brandon Woodby, a Monroe County resident, says he doesn't understand why there aren't bars at each crossing. I think that's just a danger to the community in general. Another local, Richard Harris, owns a collision center. He says the first thing that crossed his mind was her family. I've seen about everything. I've uh, been here 18 years and, you know, it's, uh, but that particularly hurts me because of the young kids going to have to grow up without a mom now. Her family is asking that crossbars or another warning signal be put in place so this doesn't happen to anyone else. In Monroe County, I'm Lauren Lovett. In a statement, CSX Transportation says it extends its deepest sympathies to everyone impacted by this tragic incident.